We all know Windows has 70% of the desktop market share, and Mac is close behind with 16%. But there is a third, mysterious competitor lurking in the shadows and is barely keeping itself above water. Linux. With a whopping 4% market share, Linux is a lot like Sweden. Everyone knows it exists, but no one actually knows anything about it. Like, seriously, the only thing Sweden's ever come out with is just Minecraft, Ikea, and Swedish fish. But anyway, this is Linux in a nutshell. <laughs> Linux is like a garden, where communities and companies plant their ideas. After care and development, they become their own little operating systems, called distros, sh short for distributions. So when someone says they installed Linux, 99% of the time they're incorrect. They're referring to one of these distros. <laughs> Linux was developed by some guy named Linus Torvalds in the early 1990s. While attending the University of Helensky, he wanted to make his own operating system based on a different OS of the time, Unix. Then an American guy named Richard Stallman made another OS based on Unix called GNU. The two eventually had a child named GNU Linux, combining the best of both. However, the credit to Stallman was sent to the Shadow Realm, and it's now formally known as Linux. Linux's popularity has increased to where it is today due to its usefulness in technical applications such as websites, servers, and programming environments. People choose Linux because it's the best for servers, it's completely free, it has high performance, and it has good security. No one cares about why it's good for servers, so we'll skip to almost all distros are free. You don't have to pay a dime, which is a huge difference compared to Windows, which costs $150 to $200 or Mac, whose cost is incorporated into the computer. There are many distros out there that are made to revive old computers, like this computer that's from 2010 that I got for free. When I got this, it took a long time just to open up the internet. But after adding the distro for made for low-end PCs, it opened up instantly and would work perfectly for everyday use. Oh look, he's typing, doing his office work, like a good old guy. Wait, that's my bank account! Linux is open source, meaning anyone can look at its endless source code. Now I know what you're saying, if anyone can look at the source code, hackers can find breaches easier! And while that is true, the same is true for all the people that use the operating system daily and want to make it safer. For every bad boy who wants to steal your information, there are hundreds or even thousands of Linux users trying to protect their own. Additionally, viruses designed for Windows or Mac have a bad time running on Linux since it uses a different file system. Also, most distros don't steal your information and advertise to you at every given opportunity, unlike some companies. So, while Linux isn't hack-proof, it's definitely better than others. Anyways, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm gonna go eat some Swedish meatballs.